Hey, so this is Apple's latest flagship, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And this is Samsung's latest flagship, the S24 Ultra. Now the iPhone 15 Pro Max has been out for about six to seven months now, while the S24 Ultra has only been out for about three to four months. After all the updates to both phones, how do they compare? Which one is the right phone for you? Now I will focus more on its cameras rather than talk in length about software and hardware on these two phones, just cause it's kind of hard to compare phones that aren't running the same OS. But to be honest with you guys, both phones are extremely fast phones and you know that whether you go with one or the other performance is gonna be top notch for both. And what you wanna use in terms of OS, whether it's iOS or Android is not up to me, but up to you and what you perform more. So just like in my reviews, I wanna give you guys a basic spec overview of these phones. And I just wanna emphasize here that not because one has a higher number than the other doesn't mean that it's ultimately a better phone. It's basically how hardware and software works together. So the S24 Ultra in a nutshell features a 6.8 inch, 120 Hertz AMOLED display that can dip down to one Hertz. And the display has a peak brightness of 2600 nits when viewing HDR content. And we're gonna get somewhere around 15 to 1700 nits if we head outside on a bright and sunny day. Now the S24 Ultra also comes with this new anti-reflective coating, which looks amazing and makes the display look way better than any of the iPhones that I've used in the past. But the iPhone 15 Pro Max in terms of display features a 6.7 inch, 120 Hertz OLED display that can also dip down to one Hertz thanks to ProMotion, and the display has a peak brightness of 2000 nits when viewing HDR content, which isn't as bright as the S24 Ultra, but when it comes to real world usage though, despite the peak brightness, it's just as bright as the S24 Ultra. So most days I couldn't really tell the difference in terms of brightness, uh, but I could tell a difference in clarity. The glare on the iPhone 15 Pro Max is just so much more apparent than you know what I've seen on the S24 Ultra. So when it comes to its display, I think the S24 Ultra wins here. Now the S24 Ultra also packs a massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which can fast charge up to 45 watts wired or 15 watts wireless with reverse wireless share at 4.5 watts. Now the S24 Ultra also packs a slightly overclocked Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 here, and I have the 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, but you can also get this phone with up to one terabyte of storage if you'd like. Oh, and this also features obviously the S Pen, which does come in handy for days when I have to sign contracts and whatnot. So that's really cool to have. Now, Apple's never really shipped a phone with a massive battery like the S24 Ultra, but inside the 15 Pro Max is a 44, 41 milliamp hour battery and charging is capped to 27 watts wired and 15 watts wirelessly via MagSafe. Besides that though, the iPhone 15 Pro Max also features the super fast A17 Pro processor, which is Apple's fastest and most efficient chipset for the iPhone, and it is a beast. Now, my iPhone 15 Pro Max comes with eight gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage, but you can spec the 15 Pro Max up to one terabyte if you'd like. In terms of overall design, both Samsung and Apple now has this titanium frame, and I think the iPhone still feels more comfortable thanks to the more rounded off edges, but the S24 Ultra with its new flatter sides and the display with that titanium frame is at a close second. In terms of weight, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is a little bit lighter than the S24 Ultra, but if you're not really comparing these two side by side, it's not noticeable on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, if you're more of a case person, then these tiny details don't really matter that much to you, and that's fair, but in case, See what I did there? In case you are looking for the best case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max or S24 Ultra, I do just wanna give a huge shout out to channel sponsor Dbrand for sponsoring a portion of this video and sending out their new grip cases for the iPhone 15 Pro Max and S24 Ultra. Now these are their new Hydro Dip skins exclusive for the grip cases and man, it looks great in person. I'm not really sure if you guys could see the sheen on these skins. It kind of has this uh, 3D effect or holographic uh, effect to them, but it's subtle. Like the one on the S24 Ultra, for example, like this gold rush color has this gold flakes or shine to it when the light hits the phone just right. I think it's the best skin or design that they've released this year. And if you guys do wanna check them out for yourselves and support the channel, go to thebrand.com slash heymarkl or click the first link down below. 
Okay, so I'm not really gonna talk too much about software here just cause you know, it's iOS versus Android and it'll just get too lengthy and too confusing to really give one recommendation over the other. But if you guys are open to using either one, then just keep watching the video. So the S24 Ultra is running Android 14, but with One UI 6.1 on top of it with all the recent updates, while the iPhone 15 Pro Max is running iOS 17.4, like I said earlier, it might get too confusing on the software front because you know one is Android and the other is iOS. Now, if you do want something that you can just pick up and have a super simple home screen setup, the iPhone with iOS is probably your choice of OS. But if you're the type of person that wants customization, you want a little bit of personality in there by using third-party icon packs, or you just wanna be able to put your app icons anywhere, and you're more of a power user, then Android or the S24 Ultra is the one that you should go with. When it comes to performance though, like I said in the beginning, I found that both phones do an incredible job with little to no stutters or lag when doing everyday normal tasks, like checking emails, watching movies or videos, checking social or even playing games. And after all the updates on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I don't have any overheating issues or have the phone get extremely hot anymore. If it did, I wouldn't even be making this video because I would recommend the S24 Ultra. But in all honesty though, both phones are really good phones that perform just about the same, at least in terms of the apps that I use on a daily basis. But theoretically, the iPhone 15 Pro Max with the A17 Pro chip is a lot faster or scores a lot higher in benchmarks. And some games are more optimized on iOS. So if you guys care about that and you want the absolute best performance, then go with the iPhone but I'm not gonna discredit Samsung and with that ultra fast 8 Gen 3 on here, uh, you get Samsung Dex, support for true multi-window, multitasking support, and it's a really great experience on this big phone. You can really do so much more on the S24 Ultra. Now, when it comes to battery life, given that the S24 Ultra packs a bigger battery here, it actually does last a little bit longer than my iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm seeing about an hour and a half to maybe two hours on a day-to-day -day basis, so basically I can have the S24 Ultra last an entire day and have about 20 to 30% left for the next day, and the iPhone will probably probably have about 10 to 15% battery left. But I will say though, having faster 45 watt charging really adds up, especially if you're always on a go and you don't really have much time to charge in between commute or meetings, that 45 watt charging speed versus the 27 watt on the 15 Pro Max makes a pretty big difference in my opinion. All right, now let's talk cameras. The S24 Ultra packs a quad camera setup here, a 200 megapixel main wide camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide and two zoom lenses, a 10 megapixel 3X zoom lens and a 50 megapixel 5X zoom lens. The iPhone 15 Pro Max features a triple camera setup with a 48 megapixel main wide camera, a 12 megapixel 5X telephoto camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. Now, photo quality are obviously subjective and you know what I like in terms of photos and how it's processed might be something that you hate or vice versa. Maybe I like uh, more moody looking shots while you prefer bright and saturated shots. Personally, from my experience, the iPhone have always shot pretty neutral looking photos with not too much contrast, which leaves room for post-processing edits. But the S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is the other way around, in my opinion. It's a little bit sharper, a little bit more processed, and there's a noticeable difference in contrast and the colors are slightly more vibrant. But on the iPhone 15 Pro series, Apple really tweaked how photos are processed, especially how it handles HDR scenarios. Your highlights are not peaking as much as before, and the shadows or processing isn't as harsh as previous iPhones. The S24 Ultra have made improvements in the photo department as well, with slightly more accurate color output and better HDR processing. Personally, I think the S24 Ultra is a far more versatile camera phone, especially with you know dual telephoto lenses at 3X and 5X, since you don't have to do a digital crop from 3X to 5X. And even though we're losing uh, that 10X optical from the older S23 Ultra, having a 50 megapixel sensor on that 5X lens is much nicer to have in my opinion. I love having optical zoom lenses, unlike the ones that we have on the iPhone, where we have this digital crop from that 48 megapixel main sensor, starting from one to 4.9x. There's no in between there, so quality won't be as good as the Samsung S24 Ultra. But then we switch over to videos. I think there's nothing that can beat the iPhone 15 Pro Max here. From the stabilization, to the colors, the clarity, 
the processing. What Apple did here is truly magic. With the addition of ProRes Log and the ability to write media on an external SSD takes mobile filmmaking to a whole nother level. ProRes might take up a ton of storage space, but the natural look and less processed video looks so much better than what Samsung's doing on the video front. Now, don't get me wrong, the S24 Ultra is still a great phone to shoot videos on, and maybe you don't care about shooting in log or to an external SSD, but what Samsung does have up its sleeve though are its extended focal lengths. It's a more versatile camera system when shooting video since you have those two optical zoom lenses. But if we're talking strictly quality and not necessarily the versatility of the lenses, the iPhone is still the king of videos when it comes to smartphones. But yeah, that's the iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are incredible phones and whether you go with one or the other, I don't think that you'll be disappointed. But as far as what is the better phone, I think the S24 Ultra is a more complete and more feature packed phone. And probably the biggest factor to consider here is pricing, especially with the trade-in deals. The S24 Ultra and iPhone 15 Pro Max starts at $1199, but if you do plan on picking up the Samsung, you may want to look into Samsung's trade-in deals online. More often than not, Samsung will offer more for older phones than what Apple can offer on its website. Plus, the S24 Ultra goes on sale like every other month, so it's just a better deal overall. Now for me though, I'll pick the iPhone 15 Pro Max over the S24 Ultra, but only because I shoot a ton of videos in log and with an external SSD. If I can leave my bulky cameras at home and just use my iPhone for everything as an entire package, the 15 Pro Max is better for me overall. And I think having access to better video capabilities is what really won me over from the S24 Ultra. But if I wanted to do more on my phone and really cared about multitasking, multi-window support, and having a much more versatile camera system for photos, then obviously the S24 Ultra takes the cake there. But what about you guys? Which one would you rather pick up? Let me know in the comments down below and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.